Hi, this is Jim Storkworth, the publisher of Kitmaker Network. This is my, my face right here, kind of showing up in the glary, 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 uh, high gloss cover. Um, thanks for uh, tuning in to another uh, episode of Turning the Page. Boy, I changed that up, didn't I? All right, so so this one is uh, friend, or this was sent to us from, I'm trying to remember who sent this, Model Centrum, I think. Uh, but it might be someone else. Hold on. Model Centrum. Um, Jeffrey Plowman. Yeah, I think believe it was sent to us from our friends in Poland and Model Centrum. Okay, so uh, this one is the Armored Color Gallery number 12, Camouflage and Markings of Allied Armor for Battle of Casino, January through May 1944 by Jeffrey Plowman. Uh, includes 20 full-color plates and 78 black-and-white photos. And again, the publisher is Model Centrum Progress. Uh, I'll just read, read the little caption here on the back. Armored Color Gallery. Culled from official sources and private files that have been overlooked in the past, this new series provides a fresh and authoritative guide to the camouflage and markings of armored vehicles that fought during World War II. With hundreds of rare and previously unpublished photographs and profusely researched full-color plates, the series of books, this series of books is paramount is of paramount interest uh, to serious historical modelers and AFB enthusiasts. Profusely researched. Hmm. Not sure that's the right word to use in that scenario, but okay. Um, rigorously researched. Um, well, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a close call. Either way. All right, so you can see the series is interesting in that they've done full black pages. Lots of ink required to print this. Um, and even on the interior uh, cover, uh, it's, very, it's very stylistic. I, I do like that. Um, the table of contents. Uh, acknowledgements, introduction, a prelude, first battle, second battle, third battle, final battle, U.S. sector, French sector, British sector, Polish sector, aftermath, and color plates. Um, just reading the, some of the there. The, this is the introduction and prelude section. You can see it's all black and white photos, obviously, with uh, text in white. Um, and, you know, just going to give you a quick flip through, not the whole book. Don't want to spoil everybody. But yeah, you know, it's it's detailed. Let's take a look at um, like this page here with the captions. So on this, uh, they've obviously uh, caught this on two different angles. It says, uh, left and above, M4A1 Shermans of the U.S. 760th Tank Battalion passing through Formia on 19th May 1944 on their way to support the 338th Infantry Division's drive on Gaeta. Um, uh, they... they they appear to be com completed in oval and completed. They appear to be completed in overall olive drab and a mixture of tanks from Company A and B. All are carrying the Allied star on the turret roof and the TQM marking on the rear. Uh, interesting that they decided to break this into three columns of text. I'm not sure going straight across on the whole bottom part would have been better from just a reading standpoint, but it does it does make it in smaller bits, but. Uh, maybe in two bits then instead rather than three. It's not normal to see it in three columns, even though a lot of published full color, you know, full page things might be in three columns. It was on a large paper or something. All right, so again, uh, more photos there. Uh, these are probably a lot of unique photos that potentially, as I say on the back, have never been seen before. Let's skip to the back just to so get a look at some of the camouflage marking uh, things. There are multiple pages of these, obviously, one, two, three. Yeah, quite a few there. Uh, but the example here on this one, the Sherman 3 T14, T45681 uh, Typhon Typhoon from the 1st Squadron Polish 4th Armored Regiment, Regiment Scorpion. The tank is completed in a light mud and SCC-14 blue-black disruptive scheme. The name, is, the name is white and tank carries a red 1st Squadron triangle. So uh, I believe this pulls out maybe. No. Oh, that was just me. So uh, then they have some advertisements for some of the other books they carry. The Comet Firefly, uh, Marmon Harrington, 6th South African Armored Division, Valentine's Canadian Military Vehicles, Staghound Valentine, and other Valentine. They like those Valentines. So, all right, well, that's a quick preview of that book. Uh, it is out available now, so take a look for it. Uh, you should be able to find it through some online uh, reseller retailers as well as potentially in local stores if they're carrying them, and also probably on Amazon, I would imagine. So uh, thanks for watching. If you have any comments and suggestions, please leave them below. And stay tuned for the next issue or uh, episode of Turning the Page. I have a lot of books here. I have a lot of books to go through. So you will be seeing a lot of book, quick book reviews. Thanks for watching again.